Namaste. Hello, this is Anitia and welcome to my channel. Today I'm completely nude. I'm wearing no makeup. I just colored my hair with Arctic Fox and I'm very pleased with the result. I think so far it's not completely dry yet, but I thought I wanted to add on my makeup in front of you since I've changed up some of my routines. I know my hair looks a little messed up and I need a haircut because it's getting very low, these bangs. But anyway, I'm going to also do my hair. Um, first off, I added some moisture to my face after I just took a shower. And I added some moisture to my face, which is a combination. I make myself half aloe vera, half uh, virgin coconut oil, and some drops of pure peppermint oil, which I'm going to need for this. And I will start with my new routine. I'm using Max Factor's Pace Infinity Primer all day and I'm shaking it up before I use it. I just apply this with my hands. I use three pumps and I have clean hands so I just massage it all over my face and make sure I get it everywhere. I'm sorry I'm a little red over the eyes. I Three days ago I used some eyelash glue that I apparently was allergic to. I gave it away because uh, I'm allergic to um, acrylic and apparently this was full of acrylic so i went back to what i normally use i use eyelash <coughs> something called lash grip or something called duo eye is not for me so this is how i look from the beginning now let this dry for a little bit and settle in there this is a really nice Feeling it closes the pores and makes the skin breathe at the same time. So let it dry in there. Good. Then I take what I might is my go-to is the green uh, color corrector, and I always go to this one. I don't know, it just fits me, and it doesn't give me any uh, out attack, you know, breakout. So I use this, and for this I use my fake Atis. Big, the biggest brush and I just start covering my face with this slowly particularly all over and remembering the ears and go down to the neck and make sure to put it on proper and equal This is my, I love this product. It's so good. It's Chinese, I know it's cheap and I could probably get better, but the ones I've tried have not had the same effect that I find this has. This is really amazing. So I go all around my face. I just dab it into, I don't squirt it. I don't, I just dab it. After this, I will purely use my beauty blender, but for this layer, I always use the Artis dupe in case I can't afford to get the real stuff, but I really enjoy these brushes. I think they are amazing. And there we go, first layer down. Check it. And I will shut it up. I have my damp beauty blender here, but I will let this set for a little bit. I forgot my settings. No, I have it here. So I didn't forget anything. I tried to remember everything today. La 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 la. I hope you like my previous videos. I know I in the last video talked about giving um, injection to a man, but he was so old and he really wanted it. And it was like I don't go around helping people inject themselves. And it was a bad thing, but I, you know, it was for a good cause. I it was many years ago and I just thought the story was worth it because it's all about thinking positive. I love this fucker. Then I take my, it's also Chinese, it's called Makeup Professional Color Corrector Foundation Like Cool. This one is very very white and I really really love it because it's so white. I take three pumps on my hand and then I take my damn beauty band I take the spit and I just dab it around my face. Mm. 
there's a lot of it I think I need to my dressing but who cares more is less less is more more is less I don't know and then I start dabbing with the big end I can't fast forward so if this video is too long for you I suggest you find another video but if you like this video keep watching you see blend it I just like pull it down the neck that was too much my eye, ears might be a little bit even though I did my best to cover it to the dying of the hair and I think it went okay but my bangs definitely need a, need a trimming and it's I feel like every time I wash it it's so you know anyway this going like, like, like it doesn't look like it's straight but it actually um, is just doesn't look like it it's retarded anyway ah dabbing 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 make sure all that foundation is settled in and before i do anything else i set it with my rose spray i use pure rose water it's just what i find is best and we go with the fan again before i go into setting and making the uh, the what is it called man concealer and the contouring i gotta make this stick it's gonna last me. I use a lot of rose water setting spray. Anyway, now it's time for me to use some concealer. And I use this one, it's called Concealer Supreme Smooth Santee. It's really good. I find it bright. I, I'm gonna put a lot under my eyes. I put a little low down the line. I go and make weekly in my forehead, kind of. I put some in my and there. I put a little line there and a little line there. And then I go in with my beauty blender and I dab it. I'm doing this in front of a web camera. I I have a small mirror for the smallest things. I like eyeliner, which I will show you later. And I started using a shitload of highlighter. That's my new thing. I am loving it. And I can't wait. I hope I get my hands on Jeffree Star Skin Trust. I really want that. And I want breakfast at Tiffany's, but it's impossible to get. It was in stock for two days. And that is just not enough. Then I take, before I make my, uh, before I make my, well, I cannot speak today, I'm very sorry, I'm a, I had a fight with a friend, which is typical, I always fight with this dude, but I love him. Anyway, I put on my eye primer and let that shit set before I go to contouring my face. And for contouring, I leave a little light. For contouring, I use my, I don't know what it's called. I don't remember. I always forget. I use this brush. And I also have the bit Kabuki. And uh, I use, I mean, I don't have much space on my table. So let me get rid of some of this stuff. I start with this one. It's from eBay. I find it is really, really good. It matches my color and it's great. This palette i don't know if it has a name but it goes a long way and it's really cheap and i'm a poor girl i like make a line from like the center of the eye and up 
and I thought of this, and then, okay, that was a little much, but then I, like, buff it up, and I think I need my mirror for this. There we go, we fix more of it later. Oops, oh my brush on the floor, but it's not good. No shit on my floor. And I take the other side, I just roll this and it has so much pigment in it. And I start on the other side. And I take a little more, I just roll it softly into the product. I like to use a lot of product. And we start buffing. I buff upwards. I don't go totally into my forehead because I don't find that I have a very big forehead. So this is how I'm doing it now. I keep changing my routine because I'm trying to learn. But why not share what I've learned with you guys? So that is my contouring. Then I take a little bit on this edge and I get under the lip to create a shadow and then I take it and I just roll it and I go from the inside of my corner. Oh, I, I drop everything today. I'm a mess today, but I won't stay a mess. I go down along the nose. There. And I will keep correcting this till I think it's it's hard to see because it's like it looks really crooked now. It's darker on one side, but that is the light. Then, then what do I do then? Then I set my makeup with I use Prime Set Gus a translucent powder. I use a shitload of this, and I try to bake. I also take uh, some of the contouring and I use this this copy of the Artiste Big Brush. It costs you four dollars on eBay and it's just it's still heavy and it's great. I love this. And there we go. We let it set for a little bit. And look what we got. Oh, we got too much on the forehead. And I don't know what I want to do with my eyes since I just colored my hair. I don't know if I want to. I think I want to make a sunset um, eyeshadow. So let's see what I do with that. For this, I uh, use my... I, I First of all, I, I'm going to put on some highlight. And it's going to be hard with this bright light. But I'm using Clean Colors Wet and Dry. And I find this is very, very, very pigmented. And I, I just like to lick my finger. And I just put it here, a lot of it, and I like to put it up my forehead. It's 20 I, hours. I can't get enough of this. I put a little on my nose. A little, maybe looks like a lot. But I like to shine like a motherfucker. And it's hard to for me to put it on my cubic bow, but and it looks a little messy when I do it, but I always do it anyway. I do it on my chin. We're getting a, a little more. I like this shit so much. It's so good. The eyeshadow is one dollar on USA, and it's just don't buy them all because I plan to buy them all. Then I use my Morphe uh, palette 35C, which is my go-to. I just bought a new one, even though I have a plenty of product left, but I cannot go and use this. 
And for this eyeshadow, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm definitely going to use pink. And I started using these brushes recently. I have this one, which is my blending brush from the copy of Max brush. But I'm going to use the elf brushes. Um, I took the wrong one. I'll be right back. <laughs> I take this and I pack it in <coughs> and I'm using a card to make the line since I don't make a great eyeliner and I think I'm gonna start with this the this pink I'm gonna go in the yellow and the orange I always start up and I dab it down over my eyelid I just pack it on. I like a heavy eyeshadow. And I do the same to the other eye. And sometimes it gets, I can't really see a lot of what, uh, what I'm doing here because it's on a web camera. So don't judge me too hard. And then I'm going to take um, the, <laughs> the orange one, this one very bright, and the very bright yellow afterwards down here. And then at the end, I'm going to use two, I just pop it in there. I go up in the crease with the orange and up to the root of the the end of the eyelids you see there we go and I go for the yellow but I have another yellow which I also use which is very very much more pigmented but this is alright for letting this Smooth out. I like the sun too. I like the sun too. There we go. And it's far from done, my friends. Then I have the king color, also wet and dry in, in yellow. I'm taking this and I'm wetting. I should spray a brush. I will do that. I will try to do that. And for that, I'm going to go in with my elf um, angled brush and I just spray it a little bit. And I'm gonna make it wet here. I'll go in the eye socket. I'll do this. I blend it up here. It's hard to see in the slides though. I need my little mirror. Oh, I can see it here. Very good. I try to save these colors. I'm not a rich bitch. I'm not a rich bitch. I wish I was a rich bitch. And there we go. And this is not done yet, but I just blend it out a little bit. You know, it's just about playing around. So that is that for that. Then I have this. It's also a highlighter, but it's shimmerish like hell, if I can find it. And it's here. But you always have to shake it. It's cheap. It's from eBay. It's called Re something Chinese. But I always use this in my eye socket and I put it up, up on top of my, not always, but when I use it, it's, it's really heavy. You see? And I'm not done yet. Because it's going to be blended out, of course. It looks like horrible right now. But it's really good. That's a lot of product for almost nothing. And I take my kabuki brush. I like 
There we go. You see? I'm gonna add more, I think. I'm not done. I'm not done. And then I take my needle, if I can find it, and I comb my brushes. Because I let my eyebrows grow out again. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or I'm going to shave them off again. But I kind of like the shape of them at the moment. And for those, I'm going to go in with this red to match my hair. It's very red. And I'm going to focus a little bit while I'm doing this. I like that it's a little darker than the hair and it gives a little because I'm gonna make my eye way dark. Oh shit. Uh oh, it's coming off. I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I plan to become one. But this is, I've been practicing for three months now and I wanna get there. Hmm. It looks like this is how I always, but that's the shape of my eyebrows. I was trying to make this a little bit more up in there. <laughs> then I go in with my eyeliner, my trusted eyeliner. I always use this one. It's so cheap. It comes from eBay and it's so good. I don't have problem with it. There's so much product in it and it has a little pin, pin in the top. And now I'm going to use my mirror. And make a small line, cross the eye, and then tiny little ring, like this. And I go in on the other side, and I do exactly the same. I have to dip it, dip it, dip it, dip it. And I have to have a cotton stick to take it. Because that's the only problem with it. Sometimes it goes a little up here or into my eye. I'm not done with the bling bling yet with this. Because now I'm going to like add some more in my eye socket. And a little under the eye. Because I love to shine. I love, love to shine. Now it's time for my mascara. I use L'Oreal. No, it's not real. It is L'Oreal. It's Force Lash Extension. Before I add on my big lashes. Ooh, am I? And I add some to my lower lashes. I started as... A, just doing it both on top and bottom. I used to just do on the bottom of the top, but now I do both top and bottom of the top. I find it gives more coverage. It, of course, oh, I made it dark. Oh my god! I will show you that later. And I started painting my lower lashes, which is new for me. I never used to do that. So not a perfect makeup artist yet. But one day, girl, one day. <coughs> Excuse me. I have an idea for my hair afterwards. That is enough. Now I have a little dot on my... There we go. And I have my little hair there. Where the fuck did you come from? And then I always clean my little piercings so that they shine. That's the look so far. Now for the cheek brush. 
I normally use a heavy load of I, a, what is it called, blush. But I started using way, way, way less. I learned from the best, Jeffree Star. And for today, I'm going to use um, this and this orange. Just dab it in there, just a little bit on each side. I am squeezed a little bit. I like keeping it up there. You see, I really learn all the time. I always used to put something on my chin. I didn't learn that from anybody. I did it on my nose. I like to have a little color like that. Then it's time for the lashes. And I use um, some cheap lashes from eBay, which I keep reusing because they use quite a lot. I just have to remove some of the old glue. But, and I use the um, Lash Grip Eye Glyph, which is my favorite. It is going empty, because I use it a lot. I use eyelashes every day. After I started using them, I'm addicted. Maybe I have to get enough. Oops, shit. Here we go. It's not going so good, because it's almost empty. But it dries really fast, and I normally get them on really fast so and i just do this a little bit i take the mirror and i put it on i start in the middle oh shit sorry i add it to the sides i need to use both hands for this oh stop Sorry, my friend is calling me, but I'm making a video. See, this is good. Where's the other lash? There we got it. And I try to put some of this almost empty lash glue on it. A little better. It comes out in bubbles. Try to smear it along. There we go. For the hair, I have some po ponytails that matches this color, so I'm going to try to make ponytails. And I'm sorry to bend down, but I have to, this is what I'm doing here. Oh shit. No way this doesn't happen. Just happen. And there we go. Now for the lips. I have brought this to the table just to draw up my lips. I always make a little V at the top. And I always end up making them a little bit bigger than they are, but I have small lips, so. See? And today I choose one of my more expensive eye lipsticks. I'm going to use the Estee Lauder in the shade of 450 Insulin Come. I love this color to death. And it is one of my most expensive items. Now for the hair. It's still a little wet. Huh. 
I like this trick. Let me find my hair. Big box. Oh, Yay! Let me see if I can find it. No, not that, not that, not that. This. I was thinking to use this today. They're not so messy. But I need the other one too. I'm currently washing. I have two sets of these. And they match the hair. Almost. It's a little more dry than it normally is. This usually fits perfect, but maybe I didn't leave the hair color in too long. I will find two hair bands and I will put up my hair. Let's see how this goes. I never really make it completely equal and I'm not like so involved in myself, but I like it sometimes to be a little messy. One thing I always forget though, is to put the lid on my last glue, which I will just do, because that is very important, people, or this shit will dry out. La, 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 la. And then we need some big-ass earrings. What's wrong here? Anyways, let's see how this looks. My nails are so little fucked up, I have to do my nails later. Then we put this on. And this goes back to the line. I don't know why they have this fucking long elastics, but I don't want to cut them off. I don't know if they're useful for something. I have a wig that goes with this. It's so cold play, but I like to use them as my hair. And now for the earrings. And I just did this a little bit. Do 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 Oh, I can't find them. Maybe they are on the table. I have some air yeah, they are. I want my big bling earrings, which I love. I put them in the second hole because my last hole, my bottom hole was broken. I have fucked up here. I wish to have it fixed, but no money, no funny. So I use hole number two. And this is the look that I came up with. It looks like this in the dark and I hope you like it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you don't you won't then don't do nothing and if you like my channel please subscribe I have a lot of good stories I have a lot of different stuff and I have a lot of eBay hauls and a lot of serious life stories so please subscribe to my channel oh I forgot something I always plumb my lips with Peppermint oil. Better later than never. Peppermint oil and cinnamon is the tricks in all the plumping products out there. So, go get some peppermint oil and plump those lips and a little more of this. Namaste. Bye-bye.